The city of Toronto said they've opened up three warming centers last night ahead of an expected cold streak this week. CP24's Courtney Hills joins us live downtown with more on this story. And Courtney, they're also exploring other options as well. Mm -hmm. That's right. We know in the city of Toronto there is a high demand for shelter spaces. The city has provided regular updates on the situation, saying really on any given night there's more than 10,000 people who are relying on shelter space. In some cases, though, the space isn't there, so people are being turned away. As it stands right now, there is a request in at the council level to the federal government to open up some of the federal armories, asking them for that additional space. But in the meantime, people who are looking for space are going from shelter to shelter. One option now are the warming centers, but what we're hearing this morning, guys, some of these warming centers are already full. The location we're at right now, 75 Elizabeth Street, 60 spaces available here, uh, 15 Olive Avenue, 46 spaces available there, and 885 Scarborough Golf Club Road, 50 spaces. We spoke with a Shelter and Housing Justice Network advocate about the situation that is facing so many people who are vulnerable. I think it's really troubling that, that the blame is being put on um, asylum seekers, people who just frankly need a spot, like other many other people. Um, really, really, the, the focus needs to be on the fact that housing is much too expensive in this city, um, and that there's not enough shelter spaces. Um, and so definitely the feds need to need to step up, the province needs to step up um, and make sure that, that housing is being built that people can afford, and they're not doing that. Um, so I think that's really egregious. Um, and it would be great if they opened the armories. Um, but I think it's really problematic that this mayor is um, scapegoating people who are asylum seekers. And according to the City of Toronto, about 40% of those who are relying on shelter spaces are refugees and asylum seekers. Uh, again, there is this request now for space in the meantime as it gets cooler to open up the federal armories. We've reached out to see if there's any update on that request. Nothing yet, guys, but we will continue to check in, see if there have been any significant developments. And that's because this is timely. It's very, very cold right now. It's cool this morning. It's been cool overnight. At this time, though, it, there is the option for the warming centers like the one behind me, Jen. But again, the demand is there. In fact, I've heard from staff and some residents here that this one was full overnight. Over to you. Okay, CP24's Courtney Heels reporting live. Thanks.